Hi, this is Al from the Creative Assembly, and today I'm going to be introducing some of the new naval units that we have in Total War Rome 2. Now, we've had a lot of requests on the forum to see these guys in action. Now, these are some of the barbarian naval units that we have in the game. These ships are made of good, solid European oak, so they're very tough, they're very high hit point ships. Now these Swabian sword masters are, you know, the front-loaded, hard-hitting uh, melee combatants. So we really want to get boarding uh, those enemy ships and activate their special abilities, which are frenzy and headhunt. So they'll fight really hard. They can go toe to toe with some of the high, hardest troops out there. Now these heavy barbarian ships aren't quite as uh, streamlined and built for ramming as much as these sort of Mediterranean ships are. Uh, but they will do a little bit of damage when they go in and they first impact. But largely, what we're aiming to do here is, is kill all the, um, the crew on board this other ship. Now, one of the barbarian ships is being boarded here. Now, this is a medium raider. It's got Club Levy uh, manning the uh, manning the gunnels there. So they're not quite as tough as the Swordmasters, but they will give these uh, these boarding Hastati a good run for their money. And here we have several units of longbowmen showering arrow fire on this artillery quinqueream. So you can see here all the crew are dead now, all the, well, all the fighting troops are dead, so the oarsmen below decks are deciding that discretion is the better part of valour. So moving on to some more of the Mediterranean ships here, what you're seeing is a number of fast-moving firepot dieres uh, assault ships. Now these guys are very fast moving little attack ships um, and they've got these, as you can see from the front there, they've got these little fire pots hanging from stanchions on the front which will explode when they come into contact with enemy vessels. And here we can see some fire arrows in action as well. Now of course, again, these are going to do incendiary damage to the ships and actually have a chance of setting the ship ablaze, but they'll also be damaging the troops on board as well. Now as we've mentioned in the past, ramming is uh, you know, a key new tactic in Rome 2. It does a decent bit of hull damage, and you know if you can coordinate your attacks correctly, what we've got here is three small ships attacking, you know, ramming into one larger ship, so all those troops can board and fight simultaneously. But if you really want to impress your commanding officer, take a large hexarim or heptarim such as this ship here, point it at a smaller vessel, and let it fly. When these larger ships get ahead of speed up, their sheer momentum and, and mass can literally tear another ship in two when they strike. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this uh, very brief look at naval combat in Rome 2, and we'll have more for you very soon. Enough! Saguntum is lost, and our Western allies have failed us. Where was the last report of his whereabouts? My spies in Iberia tell me his fleet has sailed. We must expect an invasion at Massalia!